Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't posted in a while. I haven't made any updates on the 370Z and exactly what's going on. But in this video specifically, we're gonna be installing the rear taillights from Morimoto on the 370Z. I'm still waiting for them to come in, but I wanted to show you a few things that are gonna be coming for the 370Z. I just picked something up today. I was very unexpected. I didn't expect to do this, but if you guys have been watching the channel for a very long time, or when I started pretty much modding the 370Z, I've always wanted this specific bumper for the 370Z. But the bumper that I have right now, I found it for a really cheap deal. And the one that I have currently at the moment that I just picked up a few minutes ago is the one that I actually originally wanted for the 370Z. And in my opinion, it's like the best bumper for the 370Z along with the Amuse one. All these other bumpers, I don't really like them too much, but I think those two are the best. But this one specifically, I think is my favorite, especially because it's an OEM bumper. So let me go ahead and show you guys a bumper, what it actually looks like and what we're actually gonna be doing to this bumper in order to be able to install it. All right, so here is the bumper. As you guys can see, it is a V2 Nismo bumper. I currently have the V1, but I have always wanted this bumper. I'll bring the car over right now so you guys can see how it looks. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a comparison. All right, so here are the two bumpers side by side in comparison. This one is obviously messed up because it was in a fire. So you can see all that messiness right there in the middle. But the main difference is right here in the sides. You can see that this one has a bigger vent, which creates a better body line in my opinion, going all the way from right here up, where this one is just kind of like sitting right in the middle, but it still has that body line going all the way across. So they both look nice but in my opinion this one looks a lot better just because it does make the 370z look a lot wider because if we mock up these pieces that i have left over and you throw it on right here you can see that the bumper or this piece is a lot wider in comparison let me see if i can grab it right that is how much farther the actual bumper on the 370z Nismo V2 actually sticks out. Here you can see at the bottom, we're gonna be cutting this whole part off, most likely to about right here, going all the way down and just taking all of that off. And this right here is all melted, pretty much coming off paint. But we would just sand that down and then we would go ahead and repaint it. So it's not really a problem, nothing happened. It didn't warp or anything. So it's perfectly fine. We just have to go ahead and get it like repainted. But yeah, I think this is gonna look a lot better because you can see with the carbon fiber, you have carbon here, carbon there, and then right here on the side, it's gonna be filled with carbon leading all the way down, kind of blending it. So it's gonna look really dope, I think, in my opinion. So I do have to make that into carbon. That will take me about a week. But yeah, that's a quick update of what's going on right now. We have that bumper that's gonna be going on. We're gonna be doing the side um, panels that go right there that attach to the wide body kit. And then we'll be doing the tail lights today. So there's a few things coming on. It's going to look better in my opinion. We're going to go ahead and wait for the tail lights to come in. Once those come in, then we'll go ahead and install them. And I'll show you guys the process and how to do it. All right, guys. So here's the box from Morimoto. Has a logo right here for the rear tail lights. Same thing right here. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the actual lights so you guys can see how they look. These are completely plug and play, so you do not need to make any adjustments or you don't need to cut any wires or anything. Everything's already done for you. Here's the other side as well. We'll check fitment right now when I install it to see how it looks. It should be completely the same as OEM when it comes to fitment, but we'll see right now. So let's go ahead and install it and then I'll show you guys a little bit more how it looks and how to actually install these taillights onto your car. 
All right, so here are the stock tail lights. Let me give you guys a little bit of comparison before I install one of them. I will leave one stock one on and I will put the other one on, the aftermarket one. That way you guys can see what it looks like and the difference and see if you guys actually like them with the fitment and everything. So it's really easy to remove the stock tail lights. Let me go ahead and open it. Okay, there's gonna be a total of three bolts that you need to remove in order to remove one of the tail lights. So first of all, you're gonna pull this thing off. You just grab on it from the top, pull it upward, and then this whole thing's gonna come off, it just has a bunch of clips on it. After you do that, you have a total of two 10 mils that you need to get from the top. And then the one inside, I believe, is an eight mil. So in order to get to that one, you will have to remove this plastic piece right here. You will pull this up, just like that. You will get a screwdriver under here, pop it up, and this will completely come off. Now this one does have a few clips right here. There's one right there that you need to remove. Use a screwdriver, pop it out. Same thing on this side over here. Then you will be able to pull it up. Now, in order to get to the back part right here, because the last bolt is all the way back there, I do not need to remove it in my case because I had already removed it before. Um, I did this because it's going to make it a lot easier to remove the tail light if I ever need to. So in this case, I don't have to do this all over again. Now, the reason I did is because I have a trunk set up. And in order to be able to remove that, I need to remove this whole thing right here, which is going to take up a lot of time. And it's just going to be a lot more easier to do it that way. Just leaving these two bolts on there. That's completely up to you if you want to do that. But you would remove this. Um, you're going to take this clip off right here. You're going to pull this upward. And then you're going to grab a screwdriver. Same thing. You're going to push them outward because there's clips holding it in right here. Push it out and it's going to go forward just like that. You will have to remove your trunk um, fabric that's inside here in order to be able to pull this outward. Other than that, that is pretty much it. Once I remove this one right here with these 10 mils, then I will show you guys what it actually looks like um, on the inside with that bowl and where it's going to be at. This is the bolt right here that I'm talking about that you need to get access to from the inside. Alright, so there's the taillight installed. It gives the car a little bit more of a meaner look, like all blacked out. It looks pretty sick. And then here's how the other one looks. Now, if you want me to be completely honest with you, I do like the red better. And there's only one reason why I purchased these. And it's because of the turn signal, how this goes up and then it goes to the side. Now with this one, it just blinks, it's plain. But with this one, it actually turns and goes to the side as if you're turning, telling you that it's going that way and it follows along that line. I'll turn the lights on right now so you guys can see both of them. Alright guys, so today is the next day. Um, when I was taking a video last night, the lights were coming out really blurry at night. It was really dark. In person, it looks a lot better. Uh, you can actually see the, the lights clearly and it won't look as blurry as it does in the camera. But I'm going to show you a few features that I didn't get to show you guys yesterday that the car actually does and I did not know about. So if you lock the car, it does two lines. So that's pretty dope. I did not know it did that. So if we do it again. And then if you unlock it, it is one full line. So that's pretty dope. That's like super sick. I did not know that. So I, it makes me like the lights a lot more now, especially because it does that. And then with the carbon fiber, I think it just goes well together with the lights, the carbon fiber. It all just blends super well and makes it look really aggressive. These are a lot brighter than the stock ones, because if you guys see the video on the previous clip, this light on this side is super bright and you can still see the lights on this side on the stock one when I had it on But let me go ahead and turn on the lights for you guys Now you can clearly see the bulbs these here 
and then they have an additional one on the side right here as well and then when you put it in reverse this one turns on it's no longer up here like the stock one was it's now down here and it turns on okay so that is a reverse light right there see how bright and white that is it looks super white it's not like yellow or anything it's really white i think it looks super dope And then here's the lights, how they look like when you have the hazards on. But you kind of get the idea of when you're hitting the turn signals, how it's going to look. It looks super dope, it looks clean. It just makes the car look a lot newer and more updated. But it looks super sick. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and end that video right there. As you guys can see, it looks super dope. It just completes the look of the car, it makes it look a lot more aggressive, especially with all the carbon in the black. It just blends in so well. And then once we add those carbon fiber pieces that go right here and that new Nisbo bumper, I think it's just gonna look crazy. And I might consider adding the wing. I think the wing is just gonna set it off even more. Um, I'll think about that, I'm not sure yet, but I think it's just gonna look insane once it's complete. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.